we are going to talk about you and your children and how you discipline them. <laughs> so on today's show, it's kind of unique in, in the sense that everybody, of course, has their own disciplining ways of doing things. Having said that, today we're going to show some interesting clips of uh, how people have chosen to discipline their kids. Now, I know you don't have kids, Karen, but you've got nieces and nephews and I've grandchildren. A lot of kids live with me over the years. Okay. And, of course, I have a very... Uh, my view is that you don't uh, do anything that will publicly humiliate and embarrass your kids. Well, so, what's interesting though, but that's what's trending right now. It seems like a lot of parents are thinking that the best option is to humiliate their children on social media. But you know what gets me? There's one clip where we're talking about not bullying. Yep. To me, the father is a bully when he puts his kid on the side of a highway with a sign and invites people to watch this kid and then make sure that he puts it on YouTube. So it's like the parent's some kind of fame whore who's getting, I'm sorry, getting his 15 minutes and all his likes by humiliating his kid. Lisa, how do you do feel about that? Do you think that's good that? parenting? Everybody wants to be on YouTube, so let's take True. a kid. And I remember a few years ago, it was probably 10 years ago at the Zares, there was a young boy that got caught shoplifting and his mother made him put a poster on himself and walk up and down the court all and basically say, I'm a thief. And at first I thought, wow, that's a bit severe. But then I thought about it. If she hadn't have maybe intervened so abruptly, maybe he would have turned out to be an habitual thief. Or, or did he and learn to be more uh, a more cunning thief? Uh, I don't know. You know? When, when you're, when I think there's a fine line. There's a fine line. Like I understand the thought process behind it. It's little Johnny or Susie who decides to do something and I'm going to shake this out of you. You're never going to do this again. Having said that, there's that, that fine line where you've now, like you said, you've humiliated that child. But I do think we need to give parents a latitude on knowing your child and what's going to work for your child. Because I agree with that. It's not a formula. You can't, like, just like kids don't come with the owner's manual that we all joke about. Mm -hmm. Like, what discipline works for one child might not work for another. So, so, I think the dad said in the clip that he this has been a, he had been a repeat offender, and maybe they had tried other things, mm -hmm. right? And that part of the story just didn't come out. But I mean, I don't I don't know that this father's done anything criminal. Right? He was at his wit's end and said, what and else can I do? This is what so, I'm going to do. And Gee, so, why not go and see if you can talk to a counselor about how to deal with your But child? he might have. And I'm not saying that he didn't. I don't know but, the story. And I'm not justifying it. But I'm saying he may have tried, from what the clip was saying, he's tried everything. He was at his wit's end. And what am I going to do? Well, then, I just don't believe that. If that kid is that age, God help him trying to raise kids when the kid's like a teenager. Oh,